Here's my challenge to change my perception of second-hand clothes. I love fashion and despite today's outfit, I normally take time and effort dressing myself and presenting a face to the world. I've never worn anything secondhand, and you know what? I'm not tempted to change. These bags are full of old clothes the charity shops just can't sell. I'm at Oxfam's National Clothing Collection Centre in Batley. Every unsold garment of textiles that goes into an Oxfam shop in the whole country mm -hmm. comes here and gets sorted. We sort between 80 to 100 tonnes every week here. Anything light is set aside to go to a sister project in Senegal. Other items will be sold online, but most are recycled as mattress filler. Is there anything that you can't kind of uh, process and resell or send to somewhere like Senegal? Yeah, there are a few things. So if it's really, really soiled, um, it has to be incinerated. And we do struggle with some of the very synthetic things. So onesies, for example. Lorraine, what about something like this, this sparkly number? This contains a lot of little sequins, which I was drawn to. <laughs> What'll happen to this? But again, it'll go in the same place. There's still a price tag on this. People just buy and buy and buy. I spotted today things that have got brand new with tags on it, so nobody's ever even worn it. And these are the clothes that are being recycled. Five and a half tonnes of clothing per week end up in landfill or incineration. It could be so different. The team at Oxfam have offered to restyle me using only clothes that have come through their sorting warehouse to be sold in their online shop. I'll be honest with you, I have never bought anything secondhand before, so I'm quite excited but also quite nervous. Don't be nervous. We've got some fabulous <gasps> bits picked out oh for you here. Oh my, this looks amazing. <laughs> so we've got... So this was all unwanted and donated to charity. Some of these clothes look exactly like what I've bought brand new. This is actually very Owen Evans 2019. Oh, I just have to try them all on. Oxfam are asking people not to buy new clothes this month. It's secondhand September, darling. It's all about saying no to new and saying yes to secondhand. We're asking people to pledge to not buy anything new for the 30 days of September. But the word among fashion industry insiders is that this trend will last more than a month. There is no logic to making things in order to destroy them when we know that both the making and the destroying are exploiting people and our natural resources. The industry group Fashion Revolution champions sustainability in fashion. They predict a change in attitudes to second-hand clothing. The secondary market is set to become enormous. Uh, recent statistics say that it could be bigger than fast fashion over the next 10 years. And it's starting on the site of an ex-coal mine in Barnsley. There's a business that's getting second-hand clothes into mainstream shops. It's one of the biggest vintage wholesalers in Europe. A lot of the time, charities don't actually have the resources to process everything themselves. It all gets shipped here, ready to be sorted by our team, and we get about 18,000 kilos a week. So it just goes to show how many clothes are actually out there in, in the network. It was started by a student who decided to scale up his habit of selling charity shop bargains online. Me and a friend of mine spent a week decorating my uh, grandmother's coal shed uh, as a place for storage and then we started doing markets and eBay and, and things like that. We developed something called the Kilo Sales where we sell clothing by the weight and that, that's when it, it really, really started to get more serious and now we're in a position where we employ 45 people. And they kept busy, sorting the stock into a massive filing system. We've got motorcycle tea with all your Harley wow. Davidson, um, and then yeah, we've got some USA um, sports prints tea. So you've got football, basketball, baseball, that kind of thing. And then probably one of my favourite categories we have is oh. music band tea. Yeah, looking at this stuff, someone's thrown that away. I know. It's and crazy. all of this stuff, it's just quite overwhelming. Yeah, everything you see in this warehouse has at one point been thrown away and if it wasn't for 
recycling plants and wholesalers like us, they, they would all end up in the ground, which is such a shame. I mean, if you think the rarity of some of the things yeah. we have here. Occasionally, something extremely rare comes in. Probably one of the most amazing things we've found um, is this programme seller's dress from the 1964 Hard Day's Night premiere for the Beatles. We've been told there's only about five of these in the world, if they're still all out there. I think there was only five originally. So yes, yeah, so it's, it's a really, really rare piece. They haven't decided yet what they're going to do with this. But it's not just a warehouse, it's a factory. John has brought in a team of former textile machinists to upcycle some of the clothes to sell back to the high street. So what we thought was how can we convert a waste product into something that's now uh, sellable and, and desirable. South Yorkshire employ tens of thousands of people in the, in the manufacturing industry in the 70s and 80s and, and as soon as I realised that, I realised I could start talking to people and that's when I then met Sue. Between us, on the actual machining side, we've got over 212 years experience. And them experiences have like combined together and worked. It's been really, really rewarding. Here, they're cutting down men's jeans to make into ladies' shorts for urban outfitters. It's, you like doing it in reverse from what I used to do. Actually getting now a made garment and making it into something else, giving it a new lease of life. They work with an in-house design team. And I've got a job for them. These are... I guess old shirts. Some of them are quite boring. We got some that are a little bit more interesting here. Some Do nice you reckon prints. you could make something out of, of this? Definitely, yeah. The sample team work with shirts like this all the time, so oh, they can really? definitely come up with um, loads of great design ideas for these. Now, whilst they're working on my shirts, I want to find some second hand shoppers. Lauren and Becky get their clothes from charity shops or the monthly clothes exchange they help run. They have some top tips. You can't sort of look and think, oh, I want to find a particular size and it's going to be on the rack with a label on. You've got to rummage a little bit more. Look at the insides, make sure that you've got your insoles in there. Check you've got all your buttons and if possible, you want to check your label to see if there's a spare. Yeah, that's, that's, going, to be, that's going to be sweaty. That. Oh you're yeah, not, you're that's not going true. To, you're not going to enjoy wearing <laughs> that. I like the sort of the thrill of the chase almost in finding that perfect item. I'm not a regular shopper or consumer of clothes really, but I hope to be an inspiration. <laughs> I'm back at Glass Onion to see what they've done with my shirts. This is what they started with and they've had a week to transform them. I feel quite emotional seeing those <laughs> things that I was probably going to throw away and look at them now. So the two floral shirts that you brought in, this was a cream shirt originally that was stained so we've over dyed that pink. We've done um, two ladies' styles, mm -hmm. so just little crop top, taking the cuff off. You'd never say that this was a really boring shirt that I had. <laughs> it's, it's been transformed. So here's my conclusion. I've gone from bin bags to bespoke. I absolutely love it. Look at the back detail. Making this film has completely changed my mind about recycling clothes. I feel gorgeous. Speaking to our customers, they're finding that the, that the end customers that they're selling to, so the public, are, are yeah, wanting more sustainable clothes and sustainable alternatives. For the first time in my lifetime, uh, used clothing, second-hand clothing has been, the stigma's gone, it's been removed.